Welcome to Village in Motion. It is Tuesday, April the 2nd. I hope none of you got fooled yesterday, uh, but it looks like this weather is uh, fooling all of us right now. Uh, but right now, for the next 30 minutes, we're going to be talking about community resources with Dwayne Ward, who is one of our community resource uh, personnel. And then we'll be talking with Chaplain Annie Smith, who is from uh, the Chaplain's uh, group. And we're going to be doing all this here on Channel 6, uh, Village in Motion. Right now, we've got Dwayne in the studio with us. Good morning, Dwayne. Good morning. How are you? Doing well. Glad to have you with us. Thank you. And so it's been a year and six months since you've been on the show? Well, a year and six months that I've been on the television show alone. Alone, okay. Not without Janelle or another CR person. Okay, well, welcome. Thank you. We're glad that you're with us. You're from Community Resources. You're one of our Community Resources personnel. I mean, Community Resources coordinator. Coordinator, yeah. coordinator. In town center. In town center. Yeah. So you're responsible for town center as far as all the community activities? Responsible for the... Town Center responsibilities in uh, community resources, and then there's Janelle and Village Square and Amber and Hunters Crossing. Okay. Yeah. What is really the purpose of community resources here at Green Spring? The purpose of community resources is to enrich resident lives and also to, uh, I would say, enhance the work experience for employees. Okay. Yeah. And you do that how? By planning social events to engage residents and sometimes staff um, to help residents to motivate them with the events and activities and manage their groups throughout the year and you know and, and sometimes um, come up with new ideas to help them get more socially active in the community okay yeah so you really have a focus of getting residents active yeah okay. that's the main, drive the main thing yeah when i moved in here 11 years ago everybody said if you have an idea you want to do something just go to community resources they'll get it done yeah and so that's what we need to do, right? Yeah, so we help the residents. With, we actually facilitate the residents with room reservations and um, setups and ideas and help them get the idea going. And we help drive it sometimes, but also we give them, a, we encourage them to push their own idea. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. And so if we need uh, support, staff support, we would come to you? Yes. Oh, okay. It's like room, re room reservations, you go to dining services for catering, um, room setups, we can help with that. Stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Very good. Well, you have a lot of activities each month, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, how many activities do we have a month, approximately? I would say about 200 activities a month. Okay. Yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot, yeah. Yeah. Resident okay. groups, staff activities. All yeah. right. And what kind of activities do we have in April this month, this year? So this month in April, we're celebrating Earth Day, which is at the end of the month on April 23rd. Okay. We're celebrated April 23rd, 24th, my apologies, April, 26th, April 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. It will be Earth Day. Yeah. Earth Day is actually on April 22nd. Okay. We're going to celebrate it in Hunters Cross and Conference Center on April 24th. All right. And then there'll be a nature walk on April 23rd. Okay. Yeah. When you say you, we're going to be celebrating it in Hunters Crossing on the 24th? Yes. What's going to happen? There'll be an expo similar to what we had in 2017, in the years, well, 2016, in the years past. There'll be like a large expo in Hunters Crossing where there'll be a vegetarian lunch for $5 um, for residents to purchase a lunch during that time. Okay. There'll be a speaker that day. There will be um, a few outside vendors and resident groups participating in Earth Day. Okay. Yeah. So is the focus on the 24th will be Earth Day, Save the Earth, right? Save the Earth. So the, the theme this year is Think Globally, Act Locally. Oh, okay. Think globally, act locally. Sounds yes. great. That's All great. right, <laughs> very good. And then, is that the only thing we got for the month? No, no. So we have. So actually, uh, this Saturday, we have the Saturday Night Live concert mm -hmm. in in Village Square downstairs in the theater. There will be a gin dance performance, which is like live body movement dance. Mm -hmm. They will be here on Saturday, April the sixth, at three o'clock in Village Square. Okay. Where you can purchase a five dollar ticket at the front door downstairs because that's Saturday Night Live presents yes yeah, Saturday Night Live is sponsored by the entertainment roundtable so Saturday Night Live presents Gen Dance Company which is like live dance uh, performance okay very yeah. good and that is when Saturday April the 6th April the 6th all right very yeah. good and then you got a couple other flyers there yeah and so then on Sunday April 23rd we're, we're having back Harmony Heritage which is a barbershop quartet group that will perform in Hunters Cross and Conference Center on April 23rd 28th at uh, 3 o'clock, well, okay. 2 30 in the afternoon. Okay. Yeah. April 28th, 2 30. Yeah, Hunters Crossing. Hunters Crossing. What is the group now? How many Heritage. How many Heritage? Yeah. And what are, what are they? It's a barbershop group. Okay. It's a barbershop quartet. So they'll sing like barbershop style music, 
Um, they, were, they were here last year in 2018. They mm -hmm. came back again this year. You can come in, you can enter the room with your season ticket, your series ticket, or either uh, $5 at the door. Okay. You mentioned series tickets, and, and those have been around for a long time. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about those, if you would. So the Sydney Foster Concert Series ticket is a ticket, a booklet actually, with 10 tickets for the 10 concerts for the year, 12 concerts for the year. Okay. So we have a concert every third Sunday of the month. It's typically held every third Sunday of the month. And you can purchase a book of tickets for, $10, for $40, and it's a series of tickets for um, each month. So January through December, and it gives you access to each concert every month. Okay. And we have a new book this year where you can take a ticket and give to a resident or your friend neighbor if you're unable to attend the concert. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so for $40, I can get into all 12 concerts? Yes, sir. Okay. Only to Sydney Foster, not the Saturday Night Live. Sydney Foster only. All right. Yeah. Do you attend any concerts? I have in the past. I haven't recently, but I have in the past. How long ago, you think? Oh, three or four years ago. How come you don't come now? Too much other things. Too much? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to encourage you to come. Uh, next Sunday, this Saturday, or either the 28th. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. What's the other activities you got? Yeah, so so this is pretty much the entertainment roundtable, not the entertainment, the uh, activities calendar for the month, okay. entertainment. And we have, uh, on April 30th, we have the um, MLVE, Body Wise Dance Coming, in the theater okay. at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. They'll do like a live performance, body, like an art performance group with some MLV students, MLVE students who... Um, actually work in the dining dining room sometimes okay well they actually work in the dining room and they're going to do a, a performance in the uh, theater all right and when is that april the 30th april the 30th yeah and that is on our monthly calendar yeah. of activities right yes. and all of us you got in one of those right yeah went to the resident cubbies last week so you mm -hmm. should have it in your cubby with uh, the highlight speech all right yeah. very good thank you and next yeah so this here we have so this is an event that we're a new event we actually have it's called crazy hat day it's kind of similar to the Kentucky Derby. We wear a crazy hat. We're encouraging residents and staff to, you know, come be creative. Think of a crazy hat, you know, something like the Kentucky Derby almost. Like a crazy hat with horses and roses. And there'll be like a first, second place, first, second, and third place for um, prizes for the winners. Uh, the flower comes out tomorrow for residents to have a warm-up notice to get okay. active and excited about this event. Okay. But that will be in May, right? It'll be in May, yes. But... We're asking residents, we give them a month in advance notice okay. to be creative and think of something festive for the event. So we can start working on our hats now. Working on your hats now. And what day is this actually going to be? It's going to be held on Friday, May 3rd. And it Hunter's be Crossing. Hunter's Crossing, yeah. May 3rd, okay. Yeah. At 2 o'clock in the afternoon. All right, sounds good. Yeah. And then uh, back to Earth Day, we're going to have a nature walk partner with the grounds department, Dave Dodson and Pete, uh, Pete, Joe Peterson. There'll be a nature walk at Hunter's Crossing, starting in Village Square. For the nature trail to the parkway and then back to um, Hunters Crossing. Okay. And then on the same day at one o'clock, we have a tree planting ceremony, similar to last year almost, but we were right. replacing three cherry trees in the back of Oak Hill. Oh, okay. They were the damaged trees, so we're going to replace them and repot them. So we're encouraging residents to sign up and take the walk to learn about the trees in the community, learn about more birds and other nature things. Mm -hmm. And then um, a tree planting ceremony again okay. at one o'clock that same day. One o'clock. Three cherry trees behind Oak Hill. Oak Hill. Yeah, near the, near the garden parking lot. Okay. So, in other words, it will be between Oak Hill and, and the woods. In the back there. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And you have a couple more? Yeah, so this is the Earth Day flyer here. Mm -hmm. So, this is the flyer we're using to advertise Earth Day, which is okay. in about three weeks. All right. And we're asking residents, well, I'm actually asking residents to, who have not signed up so far to contact me to register for the Earth Day Expo. All right. If you're interested in participating, I encourage you to sign up before the deadline, which is April the 12th, so we can see you participate here in the Earth Day. When you say you want residents to participate, what kind of things would you want residents to do? Well, resident groups who are okay. like environmentally friendly, like for instance, like the late bloomers, the environmental committee, the environmental um, subcommittee, or the environmentalist group. So okay. some like late bloomers, groups like that. Okay. Yeah. So it's groups who are Active of, of saving the earth, participating in yeah. recycling, those yeah. kinds of things. Upcycling, recycling, those, yeah. Okay. All right. And again, this is going to be for what, April 24th? Yes. All right. And that will all take place in? Hunters Crossing. Hunters Crossing, except for the tree planting. The tree planting will be at Oak Hill. Okay. And then the nature walk will be at, starting at Village Square to end at Hunters Crossing. 
right. So take the trail on the back side of the building near the parkway mm -hmm. and up at Hunters Crossing. Okay. That sounds like a pretty good deal. Are you going to join us? I th I'm thinking about it. Okay. That'd be great. Okay. Is there going to be refreshments at the end? Yeah. So we have, we have snacks along the way, like a water and maybe like a trail mix or something okay. along the walk. And what we're going to do with our trash? We're going to keep it until we get to the end of the walk. <laughs> oh, so you're going to provide us bags to keep it yeah. in or we're going to stick it in our pockets or what? Well, we have bags for you to discard the trash then. Okay. Yeah. All right. But we'll keep it till we get to the end of the walk. Your preference. Well, we'll have a bag there for you if you'd like to okay. trash it then. Okay. Yeah. And that would be something to protect the earth. Correct. All right. Yeah. Sounds good. That sounds good. Any other activities going on for the month? That's pretty much the, the basis of 2019, April month. So okay. it's pretty much going to go big with Earth Day and have other events in between. Okay. Yeah. You mentioned the fact you want residents to get in touch with you if they want to participate uh, in Earth Day. Yeah. Uh, how would we get in touch with you? Yes, yeah, so you can contact me. I have a sign-up sheet where I'll list your contact information. Okay. And we'll plug you into the system and have a table for you at the Earth Day event. It'll be a six-foot table or a half table that you can utilize to set up and display your um, Earth Day artifacts or information for your group. Okay. Will we be charged for those tables? No, there, there's no charge no for charge. the table. Yeah. No charge for admission or anything? No, sir. Okay, yeah. very good. And so we call and contact you how? You can contact me by coming by my office, which is located in Town Center near the Potomac Cafe, or you can give me a call at 604-4032. 4032. Yes. Or just hang a right as we see the cafe. And near the computer lab and the social work office. Okay, so you're between the, the cafe and the lab. Yes. All right. And how often are you there? <laughs> Every day. I'm Every here day? Monday through Friday, 830 to 5. Okay. Yeah. But you're out and about. To well, I am, but I'll... I'm in my office working hard on this event, so I'll be there. You'll be there? Yeah. Okay. If not, some residents leave a note, and I'll have these by my door where they can grab and um, take with them if they need okay. some. That sounds like a good deal. Yeah. Anything else you'd like to share with us about community resources? That's pretty much the basis of 20, uh, April. Yeah. Okay. All right. We're still planning. We have, uh, oh, that, actually, we have the art wall reception next Friday, okay. April the 12th. April the 12th. At Hunters Crossing at 3 o'clock, at uh, 2.30. At 2.30? Yeah. Art wall reception. Yeah. Uh, and, and at Hunter's Crossing. Who's the artist this month? The artist of the month is still unknown, I believe. But her name, she, it's, Ann Sampson uh, selects some, someone, I can't think of her name at the moment. She's going to display the playbills from the Green Spring Players Group mm, okay. from previous years. Wonderful. So you'll be able to see them hanging in the Hunter's Crossing lobby mm -hmm. starting um, on Thursday. Okay. We're going to hang the new art wall up on Thursday. And it'll be like playbills from the Green Spring players and different other, other artifacts. Okay. Yeah. Those are really nice, those playbills are. Yeah. They're very nice. Yeah. Very good. Well, Dwayne, thank you for coming and sharing this information with us this morning. Thank you. And we're glad to have you with us. I appreciate and, it. And you know, don't wait another year and a half before you come back. Alone. <laughs> okay. Very good. Thanks, Thanks again.